Let's take a look at the next question, an easy and mid-level question. The question says, one day Rahul started a work at 9 a.m. Gautam joined him two hours later. Then they both worked together and finished the work at five, by 5 p.m. on the same day. If both had started to work at 9 a.m. and worked together, then the work would have been done 30 minutes earlier. And the question is, find the time Rahul will take to complete the entire work alone. From 9 a.m. to 5 p.m., you can say Rahul has worked for 8 hours. So 8 hours of Rahul's work and 2 hours less, which is 6 hours of Gautam's work, would be able to finish the entire task, whatever the amount of work which was there. Similarly, if both of them started to work at 9 a.m., they would have able to wind up the work by 4.30. So in that case, 7.5 times R plus 7.5 times Z should also be equal to x. Now you can equate both of them. Now 8 minus 7.5, I repeat, 8 minus 7.5 will give you 0.5 r should be equal to 1.5 g, which is r should be equal to 3 g. I repeat, you are getting r is equal to 3 g. Now you want to find the amount of r's r is Rahul is going to take. You know 8 r's plus 6 g is the total amount of work or time which I am going to have total amount of work will be done, right, which is x. Now we have got r is equal to 3g, so 6g will be equal to 2r. So 2r plus 8r will also be able to do the same amount of work. Now 8 plus 2 is 10r, so 10r should be able to do the entire work alone. So which means 10 times r's hourly work should be equal to the total work, which means r will be able to do the entire work in basically 10 hours. Easy question. You got option number D to be the final answer for this question.